I try and say that everything that we build here is going to be some sort of heirloom built with high quality and precision and craftsmanship that it will last you and, and give you the ability to hand it down. We're in Elko, Nevada at JM Capriola. We have a little bit of everything here and we've always had everything from clothing to our, our leather goods. You know, other than our, our saddles, this is what we're known for is all our Garcia bits and spurs. A Capriola saddle is a saddle that is built from one man start to finish. There's many of these saddles that are up here in our museum that are, you know, 80 years old or older and they're still functional. So many people are very naive of what goes into a saddle or into custom goods. They think of them as a, a large press template and there's none of that here. Nothing is ever the same. Capriola started in 1929 from a young kid to when we lost her. My mom had told me there's not very many businesses that ever make it a hundred years and if you can make it a hundred years that's something phenomenal. The staff that I have right now, I don't look at them as my staff. I look at them as my family members. This is Armando Delgado. He's the main backbone behind everything in the saddle shop. I've been blessed to have my wife step in and to help out. Um, you know, after losing my mom, she took the responsibility and I mean, she did a phenomenal job where she took the reins and ran with it. To build saddles or to build any goods or to manufacture anything that we do. It's, a, it's an art form, whether it's the way that we sew or it's the way that we carve leather or the way that we engrave. Any of this, it's all artistic to us. I really couldn't see wanting to ever pick up and move from here. Elko means everything to me. I couldn't think of a better place to raise kids, to raise livestock, and to live the life that a person lives. If you enjoy history, wide open spaces and blue skies and, and beautiful mountains, that's, that's Elko. I've traveled all over the world selling our products, um, but I don't think there's anything better than coming home. I don't want to sacrifice one little thing um, to save a couple cents here and to make a few dollars there, you know. I want to continue the guardians of tradition and the, and the historic value in producing the same quality of goods. That's what I want the most. Being a cowboy is uh, living the dream and uh, being able to provide for my family and to continue a tradition, that's something that not everybody can say. <laughs>